This world called Sea of Thieves is beautiful. With luscious fields of green, with wondrous waterfalls, and with lively livestock to fill its land, it is no wonder that inhabitants of this land fall in love with its beauty. But as everyone knows, looks can be deceiving. Behind every corner, dangers lurk about. Though long-time inhabitants are grown accustomed to these dangers, the noob, however, is not. Upon arriving to this world, the noob is unaware of all of these dangers lurking about. Some of these dangers are not only man-made, but some are natural, and some are supernatural. Noobs may fall victim to some of these traps laid around the world. Without warning, it strikes. But this is merely just a hard lesson learned for the noob. As the noob dies, he goes to purgatory briefly and comes back for a second chance at life. Surviving against boundless enemies is not the only threat to the noob. Lacking the basic pirating skills and also the lack of knowledge of the world often leads the noob to their downfall. The seas are filled with megalodon sharks and krakens, and they both pose a threat to the noob. The noob can find himself caught up in natural dangers like storms and exploding volcanoes. These dangers increase the hardship out on the seas. But I also forgot one more danger that lurks about, and it may be other inhabitants of this world. You see, this world is called Sea Thieves, and it's called that for a reason. If the noob doesn't have his head on a swivel, they could be caught out by some of these inhabitants. Some of these inhabitants are out to kill for the sport, and some are out to sustain oneself. As time goes on, the noob's role in this world is often clearly defined. Some noobs prefer a more honest way of life. They often do favors for the locals in exchange for gold. There are those who take another route, and it is a life full of piracy. The pirate life is also a very unique one. They love to steal from the honest ones and give that treasure to the locals that the honest ones were trying to give to in the first place. It's kind of screwed up if you think about it. But such is life here in the Sea of Thieves. This documentary was made possible by the Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls, and the Merchant Alliance for viewers like you. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.